Y'all been anticipating and waiting and debating, but we here. This is what we doing. This is the mode. This is Godzilla mode. Introducing, coming live and direct. We got 2K NFL. NFL that we've been wanting to come back for so long. The mole has picked it up and we got the great, great announcer, my son, coming on to rock you and take you all the way to Madden 24 and give you a comparison. He about to heat the spot up. The, the set about to be lit. He about to crank it up. Come on with it. Talk to the people. Okay, we are here. Okay, we got 2K1 and Madden 24. So basically, Madden, it wasn't no Madden 1. It started out as NFL 2K. So NFL 2K1 and then it eventually transferred to Madden. And this is the one that like y'all boys see right here on the screen. This is 2K1. Uh, we got the Vikings and on the cover of 2k1 is Randy Moss, which is I believe he was the highest rated player in the game So that's the big reason why I'm why going to see the Vikings the Vikings and uh versus like basically Basically, you're gonna see the Vikings everywhere on this uh, on this game because they're like the highest rated team right there But check this out. Did you see the introduction? Did you see the introduction how lit it was all the colorful uh, 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 animations? Huh? Back then, could you imagine that? Huh? And then and playing, play, playing Madden 95, 96, 97, then 2K come out with this. Man, this is beautiful talk. And uh, yeah, as you boys see right here, Redskins versus the Cardinals. And this is another thing that we, I liked about the old, like these old games. You get, you was able to do like the coin flips and pick like what, like the North versus South, wherever you wanted to kick the ball to. Just like the small stuff that was, that's not in Madden now, but like. That was in the old like NFL games. Like right here, y'all boys see the onside kick. Like like right now, hey, man, you can onside kick and all that stuff. Like you can like glitch or whatever this. But right, like this is just like more fun. Like it's just more fun. Like, I just kicked the ball out of bounds and it was just like it just it's just like it looked like it's just small things, but it's just like it just makes the game a lot more fun than you know than what it is. So y'all yeah, boys are gonna see right here. It was a legal kick. Now look at the the menu. Like the menu for like the defensive plays. Like. I didn't really know how to like pick the defenses, but like I did end up. I think this is three four defense. I didn't know. It, it, I didn't really know who was in what zone, but like the player movement wasn't bad. It wasn't really bad at the player movement. The tackling and the sound effects is, was really good. The sound effects was like kind of crazy. It, it, it was really nice, really really nice in the game. Better than what I expected. And then you see the referees. Like I know they just added referees this year, but like. Before that, before this year, the referees wasn't in the game for a long time. So, like, having the referees on the field was a W2. And then y'all see right there the, the, the handoff. And like I said, the movement wasn't blocky. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't nothing horrible. And I feel like the movement was really good for this game. I, they wasn't, like, high, high overall. They weren't, like, the highest rated players. So, like, they were moving at, like, what they could. Well, make it, what, what, what made the game so sweet? So sweet, I think, that made it so better than Madden back then it was more animated it was so more animated and cover colorful and the way that they moved was different uh in madden you know what i'm saying and so it was blowing madden out so bad talk to the people why you think that they had to get rid of this game because it was that good talk sir yeah so like 2k 2k1 or yeah 2k NFL 2K was basically it was like the best football game on the market at that time when it, I, th I think it went up to like uh, 2K3 or maybe 4 before Madden ended up buying the license 2K was like the game on the market and it was just it was Madden I think Madden had game I think they had a game out but it just wasn't competing with 2K but, uh, but you know they ended up buying them out but we are going to see 2K um very very soon they're gonna i think they did it's in the works we just gotta wait for the game but they are working on the new zuk they just got the license back and so you gotta say in all in all the dreamcast was the bomb yeah the, yeah the dreamcast is definitely a legendary legendary console the dreamcast uh, uh a lot of sega consoles that they release are legendary because it's got all like the the like old school like the old games that were like elite 
like this NFL 2K, then you got the 2K1 with Allen Iverson on it, all on the Dreamcast. Them all like legend, legendary games, and they all on the Dreamcast. So them games you don't get rid of. You don't get a rid. Hey, you don't sell those. You don't get rid of those on eBay or nothing like that. You keep them on the shelf because they get better with time, like fine wine. They get better with time. I'm looking at the game, and I used to play the game, and I'm gonna tell you something. This was my pick over Madden until they took it off the shelf. He gonna give you a little bit more enlightenment, enlightenment on these defenses, cause it look good. Yeah, the, the offense and the defense are like plays. You, uh, yo, you boys, you right here. This is my first time. I didn't, I didn't think that you know the huddle, the no huddle was still in the game even back then. So you see right there, I'm picking the offense, and I just no huddle. Only thing is, I just didn't know how to do was run to the and the, the ball. But like, the defenses, they it was very simple. It was simple. You know, you get a four three, three four. You got dime nickel, nickel. I'm pretty sure different playbooks, different teams had different playbooks. Cause I didn't, I didn't know how to like to change the playbooks, but. The defense, it was simple. It showed you on the screen like what they were, who was going to be running what and where and, and things of that nature. But y'all see right there, like the defense, the sound effects would really, really made the defense really, really like fun to play. If you play this with sound, it's not like when you tap them, it's not like you like hitting them really, really hard. So he telling you it was super competitive. That's what he really trying to tell you. You weren't just going to get on the game and think you was going to die. Like you're doing today. You got all these guys. It's easy play for them because they're able to dom dominate with uh, the am animations and things to be able to with the movement. But back then, you had to work hard for it. So this is what made the game so sweet. But we moving in the matrix, man. You know what I'm saying? We came a long way. We came a long way. Bring this game back. Tell me why you think they should bring this game back over Madden. Yeah, I think we. Sh I think this game needs to be at least on the market because, for simple fact that every year, like Madden, every year Madden is basically the same. You know what I'm saying? It's the same. The game come out, then there's gonna be glitches in the game. Then they patch this, patch this defense, patch this offense, and then it just become the same game as it was last year. But like, if we get like a new game like NFL 2K, it's not really new because the game you already got games out. So if they come back. On the market, it'll just be like a breath, a breath of fresh air because we get something new besides Madden that was our, that's already been out. Like it comes out every year, but it, and it's basically it'd be like the same game from last year. There's nothing. All we do is really change colors and things of that nature. So it'd definitely be fun to get an NFL 2K game back. Well, it made it more better because the, see, it wasn't about the money back then. It was about the game, which means they had to improve it every year. They had to improve the look, the movement, and it was something hard to work for. Now, it's just a repeat of itself. No, the, uh, and then when they, what, what kills me, answer me this. When they get the game perfected and y'all fall in love with it, why they change it? Yeah, I, that's another thing I don't, I, I don't understand. Like they, okay, so like the game come out and then we say fix this one thing and then they're supposedly supposed to fix it. And then the game start. Once we get used to how the game play, plays at that pace, then that's when they'll just come out and just start patching other stuff. And we, you know, there's no. We already used to playing a game like this. There's no reason to go patch it and go do this, that, and other. You know what I'm saying? So like, it just. It just, sometimes it just do too much instead of just fixing a regular problem. So to a player like you, because you're better than me, I didn't got older. I'm a vet. You know what I'm saying? But to a player like you, that's on an elite level and growing and getting better and better with time how do you feel about that whole scenario about when they change the gameplay and you not a person that take this game lightly this is your bread and butter you really out here uh 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 herking and jerk you know what i'm saying beating the block you know trying to play this game for what it's worth and then they come in and they just change everything. I think if it's if it's if it's not broken, don't fix it. You know what I'm saying? So, what is your comparison? What do you think about what they should do and go back to? That's my question to you. What you think they need to go back to? So I think it, in order to make Madden back fun again, or just like just just at least the playable. First thing they need to do is fix the defense. Like you can't send. 
no blitz like all the blitzes we used to sell like last year you can send five or six and it, it was basically automatic pressure in the force of offense to really be good this year you only you, like you you can send five or six and it, it can easily gets picked up when if i'm block if they're blocking five and i'm sending six there's no way my db or somebody can't get in there so therefore i feel like the defense and the blitz needs to be buffed and like pat not patch but nerf offense a little because offense it's way too easy to run offense this year. It's, and everybody's running the same plays because offense is entirely too easy. So I feel like if they want to make the, the game back fun again and just make it work competitive, bring back the, the defense to blitz, defense to blitz and all that. Man, I'm going to tell you something like this. You know what I think? You know, when I pop this game in for you for the first time and you played it, I seen your face light up way more different in the modern game of 24. When you popped this game in, you was like, whoa, you know, you was just really smiling and happy and to see how far it came, but how good it was back then. And I, I, I really was inspired by, I'm like, man, if we could just get some of the good good things back about the game, we wouldn't, we wouldn't be so mad about the change every time they hit us with a chain. So, for that reason, this is what we're gonna do. Boom, I told you. We traveled through time to give you this sweet, sweet content. And we traveled through the matrix and now we got Madden 24. We got, look at the graphics and everything. I'm gonna let him break this down. How good this feel to travel through the matrix and get how this game is what he should do uh uh i mean what they should do what they need to fix and he gonna talk to the people about how we love it talk to the people man yeah i i really i i do like madden 24 madden 24 is definitely a good w game man the, the madden 24 it is better than the previous I think it's an all-around complete game. This is a, basically an all-around complete game. Better than Madden 23 that came out last year. You know, there's not too many glitches, not too many glitch blitzes. You know, there's like one. You get a, you get a glitch blitz every now and then, but there's nothing like too OP where it's just like, okay, I can't, you can't stop this. Or, you know, this game is really casual friendly. You know, if you never played the game or never played Madden or any or NFL game of that sort, you can definitely load up a game of Madden 24 and just have fun playing it. You know, especially if you if you haven't played Madden before. Now, if you do play, if you have played like competitive or at least just above average like type of Madden, like maybe Ultimate Team or something. You know, it, the game is fun. The game is fun, especially at the Ultimate Team mode, and they bring back the game modes in franchise franchise mode. You know, where you can basically get your favorite team and like rebuild it and things of nature. They definitely did fix that. They brought them back at like, the training camp and a lot of good things and things of that nature. And they they do face the game when the, when there is a like a glitch in the game or something that needs to be patched. They do fix it. Like they do do it within the night that the next patch is. And the patch is basically when they like you know fix something in the game that's wrong. So I definitely do like that. And they also the the overalls and things of that nature. The game doesn't feel too too blocky. It don't it don't feel too uh, loose or nothing like that only real thing that need like i said that need to be fixed is the blitzes you know you can't really the blitzes that aren't really good no more uh now beginning of the year the the knockouts are really good you didn't you didn't need um uh the zone kills for knockouts but now like the knockouts since the patch came out the most recent or not the most recent but the first patch that came out knockouts aren't really like good now they don't knock the ball no more and zone kills are like really hard to find this in this game so far right now especially in ultimate team so I really wish they would have kept it like the defense the same as it was like day one because it was just way better. You couldn't throw like the at like, the seams if you don't have like gunslinger or like, the abilities in this game. It's like gunslinger basically make the QB throw the ball faster or set feet league is when he's in the pocket longer. And then if he's in a pocket and his feet are set and he, he can throw the ball way faster at a faster velocity and then most QBs who don't have abilities. And I just wish that, you know, you can't you can't throw that same passes without those abilities. And now you can and without having to worry about the ball not I mean without worrying about the ball getting knocked out because the ball it, it the, but the patches they haven't 
you know, the Patriots haven't really fixed the defense and things of that nature. But, you know, the game, like I said, is definitely a good game, y'all boys. Mm. What is your favorite team on here? Talk to the people and let them know what your favorite team and what you like to play with. Give them that fire. Yeah, my favorite, my favorite team on here, I believe, the, is the Eagles. The Eagles are, in my opinion, the best team on here, and it's my favorite team to use in the game since day one of uh, Madden 24. It has, uh, you know, Jalen Hurts. It got AJ Brown, Devonte Smith. Another great team on here is the Chiefs. Uh, the Chiefs is also a great team. Uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes got that high route master. Basically, he can put any route he want on the field. Another like good team that's like underrated, I think, on here is the Jaguars because Trevor Lawrence is a dog. They got Josh Allen, the right outside linebacker. They got fast DBs. They low overall, but they got fast DBs. Um, that's a lot of great. And like I said, this game is really if you new to Madden and things of nature, and you haven't really played Madden too much. This game is really, really good. You, you know, this game is really good. If you're new to it, you you like you like Madden. You like Madden. It's, you're gonna end up end up playing it a lot because it's just that fun. You know what I'm saying? So, I, it's a lot of great teams. I had a lot of great teams. There are some bad teams, but even with the bad teams, you can still have fun. Like like running the ball, they did make the game where you can run the ball good. You know, if you like to pass the ball a lot, you can pass the ball a lot with certain teams. Like Patrick Mahomes, he, he made he made passing fun in this game, especially with the dead eye and all that good stuff. Yeah, and and, and, and you know what? Shout out to all them boys, the man boys that's out there. What's some of your favorite, my boy? Chabada Mint, all them boys. Shout out to them boys. What what's some of Ty Debo? Give some shout outs, man. Tell the people, shout it out. Yeah, do my some of my favorite uh, creators. It's Dubby. Uh, I got my boy K Mac. Uh, Henry, some uh, great, great streamer. Uh, oh, who else? Who else do I watch? I think they had K Mac, W, Henry. Um, oh, my boy Braylon Miller. He's another great, great creator. Uh, I'm trying to think anybody else that I do watch. There's a lot of great Madden creators out here that do, that do make a lot of good content, and they do stream great, great content and things of that nature. And on that note, you know what I'm saying, man. Y'all check in to the mode. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be getting you that live content. The fire is lit. It's crazy around here. We ain't got time to be playing with you. I'm telling you, we're going to turn up this year for 2K. You know what I'm saying? I mean, 2K, we're going to turn up for Madden. But uh, 2024, we bringing that fire, that heat, and we out!